Hi, my name is Eric Law. Uh, I've decided to do a, a build with my son. He's not here right now, but he's 11 years old. And believe it or not, he's the one who came up with the idea. Yes, I'm a bad parent. I let him watch Deadpool 2. So we'll go ahead and start here. Here we've got the prison cell. So if you look right here, you will see Deadpool. Oh, he's down the bottom, sorry. Deadpool and, and Russell's in there. So I try to get as much... Deadpool like jokes into this so you're gonna find a soaring hat because he makes a joke about a soaring hat um, I got a taco. I didn't know how to make a chimichanga out of Lego So I did a taco close enough close enough. It, it, we get it And then so as we know, this is a lot of white so I try to break out the white but as we we go over here You're gonna notice here's a little room the shower room where they uh, had their little battle with the explosion so that's where Deadpool and uh, Cable flew out of there. So if you notice here, you got the rock where, they, where Deadpool hit his head. Cable hanging there. And if you look all the way down there, we've got Deadpool when he crashes through the lake. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So I actually see right next to that scene is kind of where he dies and then he meets uh, Vanessa. So if we go ahead and go go right here, we got. Uh, I tried to make little vignettes because I like to do vignettes in this scene. So we got Russell meeting his new friend while feeding him, and you notice there he's got his um, his little pen. Um, and then to the right of that, I tried to make a little joke of Deadpool because, as we all recall, Disney and uh, was having little issues with Sony making Spider-Man. So Deadpool, that's how he helped make that movie happen. Okay, now if we go over here, I try to get little scenes. Remember the part where uh, his, uh, his buddy got thrown up on as he went through the, uh, the, uh, the whatever that thing is called. So, um, and then we got the deal between uh, Cable and uh, a shortened version of Deadpool after he lost his legs. And I try to put little things like his, there's this little stuffed animal uh, unicorn. And in my pride and joy of this whole build, it cost me a lot of money to get this. The Vanisher, he looks just like Brad Poole. I mean, sorry, Brad Pitt, correct? And then uh, you're welcome, Canada. We've got a uh, poor uh, uh, version, the old version of Ryan Reynolds that uh, from his other movie that he's not proud of. And then if we go here, I always get comments like, "I would never let my child watch Deadpool 2." So I usually get from the little the little kid, "Yeah, I have seen it." But I tried to make the three the PG-13 version so I can point to that. So if you notice there, Fred Savage is you know being uh, read to by Deadpool. And then, of course, what does Deadpool, to, uh, Deadpool do? He breaks the fourth wall. So we've got a fourth wall broken there. That's a great little detail of that. I, like I said, I try to get weird as possible. And then we've got the big giant frozen lake. Try to add a little, you know, again, trying to add Disney characters because what was, you know, I've got a, you know, I've got a, up top there, I got Frozone fighting a couple of uh, ice, uh, ice witches and stuff. And we've got... Um, uh, other Disney characters, we got a Sasquatch in there, I got penguins. You have uh, Elsa here? Elsa, oh yeah, how can I forget Elsa? So Elsa's fighting, you know, Lego has gotten a lot of good ice princesses lately, so I've been trying to make use of the icicles and and try to get, well, of course I used a lot of white brick, so uh, there you go. So I, that's what I try to do is break up all that white by putting some more colorful characters in there. That's a lot of detailed uh, work there with all those white slopes, though, making that surface. Took me much longer than I thought it would. Uh, also, it took me a lot of trips to the local Lego store to go through their, their bins finding little white slopes. <laughs> now, are all these minifigures and pieces uh, regular Lego pieces? Do you have some custom stuff in here? Uh, there are some custom. Of course, I, I went ahead and got the real Deadpool because I, I had it, you know, Go ahead and get that. But with that, actually, all the orange jumpsuits, those are uh, the Joker from uh, the Arkham Asylum. So we got a little DC in there even though. And then uh, I customized Vanessa, I customized Deadpool with the, actually with Anakin's head, uh, where he's got the scarred up head. Um, you know, I used mutants, you know, like a lot of mutant bodies to get the more mutant looks. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, did what you could to kind of create different characters. Yes. Oh, and, and I actually used, uh, borrowed from Jurassic Park, and that's the, the police officers in the jail. There you go. Yeah, so you've got the whole scene then here. So had, have you had a lot of people coming by and recognizing it? I get a lot of like, oh, yeah. Like I said, I, I, I the, the parents kind of like, when they find out what my, my build is, they kind of take their kids away. <laughs> 
But yes, I've had some people recognize him. The, the big the big winner is the fourth wall. Yes. People love that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for bringing it out to the show here and for taking us through all the different, the main building and the little vignettes here. So thank you. Okay, thank you.